Okay guys, we're in 7.3, solving systems by substitution. So last time we solved by graphing, and you can look at that video if you missed that. Um, but here we'll be focusing solely by substitution. The steps for solving by substitution are listed here. Um, there's five steps, and we will go over all five of those to make sure your understanding. Okay, so here we have two equations. Um, these are both linear equations. <clears throat> and when you are doing this for your homework and for your test and your quizzes, you need to do it by hand. If you're given this problem on the test and you use your graphing calculator and you don't show your work, you will get zero for that problem. Okay. Um, I am op open to graphing that using your graphing calculator to check your answers, but if you're not showing your work, you will not get any credit, okay? Okay, so now that <clears throat> that's out of the way, the first step here is to solve, solve one equation for y, okay? So here we have two equations. One of them is already solved for y. So that's our first step, we already have it. Sometimes you'll have problems like this next one. Neither of those equations for B, neither of those are solved for Y. Okay, so we'd need to do that. But for A, it's already solved for Y. The second step is to plug or substitute that solution for Y into the other equation. So here, this is equal to, to Y. And we are going to take that and substitute that in for the y in the other equation. So when you do that, you'll get negative 7x minus 3. And then we're going to plug in negative 2x plus 4 into our y value. And you'll want to have a parenthesis around that when you plug it in. Otherwise, you won't get the right in answer because this 3 needs to needs to distribute to these other two parts inside that parenthesis. So make sure you have parentheses whenever you uh, substitute. Okay? So I'm not done yet. So equals negative 12. So that's the second step. Check. We substitute that, uh, the first equation, in for the other equation. All right, next we want to solve for x. All right, so the first thing is you'll want to do PEMDAS. So we want to do whatever we can do inside of our parentheses. It's already done. Can't simplify that any further. Exponents, we don't have any exponents. Okay, then next we have multiplication. Right, multiplication. So like I said here, you'll want to distribute that negative 3 through this, what's inside the parentheses. So we'll get negative 7x plus 6x minus 12 equals negative 12. All right, and we're, we're not done because we need to solve all the way to have x equals something. So here you'll want to... Combine like terms, you'll maybe want to add 12 to both sides. Those would both cancel. And we'll want to combine these like terms. So we will get um, negative x equals 0. All right? So one of your solutions, and if you wanted to divide both sides by negative 1, so we get x by itself, x equals zero. Okay. Once we have that, we solve for x. Check. So I'm going to check these all off. We solve for x. Now what we're going to do is we will, we, in step four, we will plug that x value. So our x value here is zero. We will plug that in to either equation to find the corresponding y value. So whichever looks easier, plug that in. I would plug this into the first equation, 
y equals because we're going to want to solve for y. So we'll just take this zero value and we will plug it in to our x value. So we'll get y equals negative 2 times 0 plus 4 and that gives us 4. So we've got that. We solve for y. Now we need to, in step 5, we will write the solution as an order pair. So we will write it as 0, 4. Right? So that 0 is from here, and this 4 comes from here. This is our solution. Okay? So if you graphed that using your graphing calculator, you will see two lines that will intersect at that point. If all you write down is the ordered pair, you will get zero credit, okay? So make sure you know how to do these steps, okay? Um, since I have all this time and I am not trying to bore you or anything, because you can skip whenever you want, I'm going to go and do all of these problems. And if you feel like you're comfortable doing certain things, skip to... Just skip to the different questions you'd like to answer, okay? So, next problem, B. We just need to follow these same steps. First, we need to solve one of these equations for y. So this one, since we have y all kind of by of itself, all we would need to do is subtract, subtract 6x to both sides. Okay, so we'll have y equals... You could write it either way. You could do negative 6x plus 16, or you could do 16 minus 6x. All right, so that's our first step. Two, we will plug that in to our other equation. So we will plug this y into the y in the other equation. So we'll get negative 8x minus 3 times... We'll put this in a parenthesis, negative 6x plus 16. I guess I'll get that. Okay, equals a negative 8. So you'll do the exact same thing we did before. So now that we've plugged it in, step 3 is to solve for x. So negative 8x, and we'll distribute. So we want to do PEMDAS, we want to do multiplication before we do addition or subtraction. That'll give us a positive 18x minus, um, and then you, I don't know, I just don't want to make a mistake, so I'm just going to do it on my calculator. Negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. Okay, equals negative 8. Okay, combine like terms. We will, we can add 48 to both sides, and we can combine these like terms. So if we do that, that gives us 10x equals 40. Divide both sides by 10, and you end up getting x equals 4. So, we finished step three, we solved for x. Now we'll just plug that value into either of our equations. So whichever one would be easiest. And since this right here, step one, that is already solved for y, I would plug four into the x, into that equation. So you'd do y, equals negative 6 times 4 from here um, plus 16. And then <clears throat> you could do it on your calculator. And that turns out to be negative 8. Okay, so you'll next, we, f we finish step 4, we'll do step 5. We need to write it as an ordered pair. So our ordered pair would be 4, negative 8. 
right? So hopefully that's not too bad. We'll get to have ones that are not linear, and we'll get to that next, but we'll go over these other ones too, like I said I would. Okay, first, solve one of them for y. I would start with this one. You could add x to both sides. Oops. Add x to both sides, so you get y equals 1 plus x. Second step, we plug it in. So this is solve, plug. So we'll plug that in. We'll get, plug this into y. We'll get negative 4x plus 8 times 1 plus x equals negative 24. Next step is to solve. So we'll solve for x. We'll first need to um, distribute, multiply, multiply. Okay, so that gives us negative 4x plus 8 plus 8x equals negative 24. Combine like terms. First we'll subtract 8 from both sides and combine these like terms. That gives us 4x equals a negative 32. Okay, and then you will divide both sides by 4. And you'll end up getting x, x equals negative 8. Okay? Next step, 3, or 4, sorry. 4 is to plug. So you see this pattern, solve, plug, solve, plug. So we'll plug this back into our equation for x. And if you wanted to plug it into an equation just like, like these ones, you'd be fine. You just still need to solve for y. So this is why I plug it into step one, because we already have it solved for y. So we'll plug that in. y equals um, 1 minus 8 gives you, gives you negative 7. Okay? And when you're done with that, all you need to do is write it as an ordered pair. So negative 8 comma negative 7. Next one. Here, we're, I would probably use this one for your first step, solve for y. I would maybe add y to both sides and subtract 11 from both sides. That would end up giving you y equals um, negative 4x minus 11. Okay, you can come up with any way you want if you wanted to multiply both sides by negative 1 to make y be positive, that would be fine. Okay? And once you have that, you'll do next step. You will plug that in. So solve, plug. Okay, so we'll plug this part of our equation in to our other for our y, which is right here. So we'll get 3x plus 7 times... What we plug in is negative 4x minus 11 equals 23. Okay, and then once we have that, we will want to solve. This will be step 3. We want to distribute that, neg that 7, so we'll get 3x minus... Um, 28x minus 77 equals 23. Okay, then we will combine like terms and add 77 to both sides. Okay, that ends up giving you negative 25 equal to 100. Oops, and there's an x there. Okay. I would do that. All we need to do is to divide both sides by 25. 
that would cancel, and we get x equals negative 4. Okay, so that's one of our things, and then our next step is to plug. That's our step 4 is to plug. So we'll plug that negative 4 into our equation here. So we'll get y equals negative 4 times negative 4 minus 11. Or sorry, did I get that totally wrong? Yeah, minus 11. Okay. We plug that in. That ends up giving you 5. So your ordered pair will be negative 4 comma 5. Right? All right, so then we've got the next page. Okay, so now we're going to be practice with quadratic systems of equations. Okay, so um, so I didn't write that down. Okay, so before you should start solving, make sure one of your sides is equal to zero. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, solving. All right, so there's different ways you can solve. You can solve by um, factoring, completing the square, or quadratic equation. Okay. Sorry, I kinda lost my thoughts. Okay, so, and this will make more sense when we start doing this. Okay, step one, you need to solve one of them to equal to y. Well, this time they're both equal to y, so you can choose whichever one you'd want. Okay, um, I would probably choose this one. Okay, just from experience. All right, so we'll plug that, and we will plug it into the other equation. Actually, oh yeah, it doesn't even matter, okay? So we will set them equal to each other in this case. So we'll have x squared minus 11x plus 27, 8, 28, equals negative 3x plus 12. So we're doing the same thing, but we are just taking this whole part of the equation and we're plugging it in for the other y. So we're sending them equal to each other. Okay, after that, you're going to solve. Um, so we plugged, or we solved first. It was already solved. This is step two, is to plug it in. Three is to solve for x. Okay, um, but the thing is, is that when you are doing quadratic equations, we weren't able to just solve for x. We would need to use one of these methods. Okay, so what you want to do first is you want to have, make sure that one side of your equation is set equal to zero. Okay, so we'll want to move everything, perhaps we'll move these over, 3x minus 12 to the other side. Okay, that will end up giving you x squared. Uh, minus 8x and um, minus or plus 16. All right, and that would be equal to zero. So these would cancel. So now this looks just like we were doing when we were solving by factoring or completing the square. Um, you can or quadratic equation. You can do it any way you want, okay? So here I am going to do it by factoring. You multiply your first term and your last term. That gives you 16, okay? And you could leave it as x squared. Sometimes I, I drop the x squared. Okay, here we go. We need to make sure it's equal to our middle term, which is negative 8x. Okay, what are two things you can multiply to give us 16, and, and add up to give us negative 8. And if you think about that, that would give you negative 4 
x minus 4x, okay? So multiply these together, that gives us a positive 16x squared. All right, since a equals 1, we can write our equation like this, x and x, and then we plug in our values, minus 4 and minus 4. Okay? All right, next what you're going to do is you're going to uh, solve these to e both of these equal to, to 0. So we'll say x minus 4 equals 0, and the other one's the same, and then we would just need to solve for x. That's a 4. So our solutions would have two solutions, and they're both the same, would have x equals 4. Okay, now that we've solved for x, we will, next is to, or 4, is to plug. We will plug x back into either one of our equations. I would suggest plugging it into the second equation, because it's easier. So we'll do y equals negative 3 times 4 plus 12. That gives you negative 12 plus 12. That gives us 0. So y equals 0 when x equals 4. So our ordered pair here is going to be 4 comma 0. Right? Whew, that's a lot of work. Okay. Um, I think there's maybe a couple of these on the test, two or three. I know there's at least at least two. So make sure you know how to do these. Um, okay, let's do another one. And how many do we have? Four. Whew. Okay. So same thing. We need to set one of them equal to one of our equations equal to y. Again, we have both of them are equal to y, and we're going to plug one of them into the other. That will give us 2x squared plus 13, uh, 13x plus 15 equals x minus 1. So that's our second step. Here we solved. Here we plugged. Now we're going to solve. All right. First off, what we need to do is get everything on one side. So we'll subtract x and add a 1. Subtract an x and add a 1. These will cancel. We'll end up getting 2x squared plus 12x uh, plus 16 equals 0. Right. After that, you may want to divide both sides by 2 to simplify your problem. That will give us x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. And then you'll do glasses. Multiply the first term and the last term. That gives us 8 and we want it to add up to give us our middle term, which is 6. That could give us 2 plus 4. That gives us 6. And if we multiply, that gives us 8. So we'll write this. x plus 2 and x plus 6. No, sorry, 4. Equals 0. So we can do that when a equals 1. And we have a equals 1. And then we send them, set them equal to sol or solve each of the x's. We'll get x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 4. All right. Then we'll want to plug these in. We'll have two solutions this time. Plug those. That's for our next problem or set step is for us to plug it into your equation. You'll get y. You can choose either one you want. You can choose that one or that one. I would choose the bottom one because it's easier. We'll do y equals negative 2 minus 1. That gives us negative 3. And then we also get y equals 
negative 4 minus 1 gives you negative 5. So our two solutions will be negative 2 comma negative 3 and negative 4 comma negative 5. Okay? Next one. Okay, now we have a circle equation and we have a linear equation. So first step is solve one of them to equal to y. Check. Two, we want to plug that, this part of your equation, into your other equation for y. So we'll get x squared plus 2x minus 10 squared equals 25. Okay, then we'll need to, first in our PEMDAS, we need to do parentheses, check. Next is exponents. Okay, we'll need to take care of this exponent. Okay, by, you can rewrite this as x squared plus 2x minus 10 times 2x minus 10 equals 25. Okay, next in PEMDAS is multiplication. So we'll want to multiply or distribute these values. That will give us x squared. Um, x squared plus 4x squared minus 20x minus 20x plus 100 equals 25. We'll want to combine like terms. So, oops, there I missed an x. Hopefully you got that. Combine like terms. So here's like terms. This is a like term. And we'll want to subtract 100 from, or scratch that. We'll want to, because we want to have everything on one side. So we'll want to subtract 25 from both sides. Okay. Do that. We'll get 5x minus 40x plus 75 equals zero. You could divide both sides to simplify. Divide both sides by five. That cancels, still gives us zero. Our equation now will be, so I need to write this smaller, x squared, to squared, minus eight x plus 15 equals zero. You'll do glasses, multiply the first term and the last term. That gives us 15. Let me do it right here. And it needs to equal negative 8. We could do negative 5 and negative 3. So we'll have x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 0. Okay, and we will have two solutions. So we'll have x equals 5, and x equals 3. We'll plug those in to our equation, probably our first one, or our second one, I mean, that I'm circling right now, because that will be easier. So we'll go get y equals 2 times uh, 5 uh, minus 10. Right? And that gives us zero. And then the other equation will be two times three minus 10. That gives us a negative four. So our solution here will be uh, five comma zero and three comma negative four. All right, last problem. I'm just gonna zoom in so I can write it smaller. First, we need to solve one of them to equal y. Check. Next, we need to plug that in to our y value. So we'll get x squared plus negative 4x squared equals 68. Simplify. Okay. This we need to solve for x, so we're going to get x squared plus 16x squared equals 68. That gives us 17x squared equals 68. We'll divide both sides by 17. 
we'll get x squared equals um, 4. That's nice. And then to solve, we will divide both sides, or square root both sides. That will give us x equals plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. So we have two solutions. Get 2 and negative 2. To find our y, part, y, y, y portion, we'll plug these, sorry, it's been too late. We'll plug that in to our equation. So we'll get y equals negative 4 times 2 and y equals negative 4 times negative 2. It gives us negative 8 and 8. So our solution is going to be 2, negative 8 and negative 2, positive 8. Alright? Okay. So I think that's yeah, I hope so. Nope, we're not done. So we have pro word problems. All right, I am going to, I'm going to make a second video, um, just for the word problems. Okay. Um, okay. I'll see you later.